And joining us now will be the head coach of the Women's Southern Union Bison soccer team, Coach Mac Matthews. Uh, coach, you graduated from uh, Sanford in uh, 1987. You played uh, both soccer and uh, volleyball. That's, uh, that's, that's right. an interesting transition there for me, just looking at it. Uh, but you've, you've coached in the uh, club level and high school level and collegiate level as well. Take us a little bit through your background in history. Well, it's, it's been a long background because unlike Taylor, I'm, I'm old. And, uh, yeah, I played at Samford uh, back when soccer in the 80s was a, uh, it was a foreign sport still, and, and things have changed tremendously. Um, I was goalkeeper, and so it wasn't a, a terribly difficult transition with volleyball. I'm used to using my hands, and so I was a setter in volleyball, and so those were complementary sports, and, and I love them both. But soccer is my, my real passion. Um, coming out of uh, Samford, I went to graduate school at Auburn where I met my beautiful bride of 33 years and began coaching immediately. Took some time off for that, raising her kids when they were really young, but I've been back in the coaching game for a little over mm, 25 years now and uh, was very fortunate to come back to Auburn where uh, I went to high school when my children were school age and I came back from Georgia and uh, took over the women's high school program, Carrie Fellows, Judge Fellow's wife had established that program, and I picked up on her foundation and spent 12 years really building that out. Um, just a wonderful time of, of family and building that culture, and that's where I fell in love with program building. And then moved on to work at Auburn University on the academic side of the athletic department and coach club. Um, eventually, I was the technical director for Auburn Thunder and, um, and still maintain and always will maintain tight ties with that program led by Megan Kemp, excellent program, and um, picked up broadcasting at that point. I've been blessed since the uh, initiation of the SEC Network to call many of uh, Coach Hoppe's home games on the, on the network, on the digital stream, and that's been Andy Burcham trained me up. and. Uh, it's, it's really added to my love for all the things that surround athletics like this. Let's talk a little bit about recruiting uh, and, and you being familiar with Auburn High School and some sure. of these things, uh, some of these high schools. What is your first step as far as building your program? Yeah, I leaned on the relationships I've had from coaching for 20 plus years in this state. I immediately called coaches who know my character and said, I need you to spread the word. Uh, there was very little I disliked more as a high school coach than some random college coach showing up at a game. I didn't know him or her. I didn't know if they were a person of integrity. I didn't know what their program looked like. And they're hanging around my kids trying to get, uh, I didn't like that. And so I reached out to not allow that situation to happen. And so I contacted, and I've got a phone call this afternoon, uh, with uh, the, the director of, of Birmingham United, uh, Busa, who I've known for 25 years, and because he knows me, and he'll connect me to other coaches and players because he knows I can be trusted. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been contacting people who know me. They spread the word of what Southern Union is committed to, and they say, okay, coach, we've got a player. We need to come see her. And I'm on the road constantly. Taylor and I have spent... <laughs> It's been, it's been a whirlwind, I'm constantly traveling. I'm, I'm gone again tomorrow. Uh, again, on Wednesday, I'll be up in Oxford for a tournament. Uh, Coach Benji Turley up there has really connected me with players. And so that's what I'm doing, leaning on relationships to, to get connected to kids that you just never, uh, never otherwise would see. How many do you have so far that you have signed or that are committed to coming? I'm somewhere between, it depends on how you want to rank that. I, I'm somewhere between six and 12 kids right now. I've got quite a few who've already signed. I've got seven or eight more who are leaning hard. They'll sign sometime this week. Um, but it's, it's been a very slow, steady process for me. Uh, and that's the way I want it. Uh, I'm a little anxious about it. Recruiting's a little scary, a little difficult because you're trying to get the right players and you need the numbers. Um, I'd like a little smaller setup than what Taylor was talking about, somewhere around 25, 28 players for me. Um, and realistically, I'm looking at, I got 14 to 16 identified that I, I really like right now. And, and uh, once I sign at least 11, I feel like I have a team then, uh, then I can kind of slow down and relax a little. How about the international side? Coach Jones talked about recruiting internationally and, and getting a base foundation. Yep. How, how has that worked for you as well? I have completely ignored it. 
I, I will come to it eventually. Taylor's helping me understand that side of it, but it's been very intentional on my part. Um, I want to, not that I have any, uh, we've got many international players who are really good quality players, and, and they really want to come to school in the United States. That market will be there, but I don't understand that market yet. Um, I do know our local players. And I want us, not to the exclusion of international players, uh, because if, if America is anything, it's a place people want to come and, and we need to embrace that. Mm. But I'm going to start with our local kids. Um, and once I get 15 or so of those players who I really want committed here, then I'll begin to put my fingers out and, and get a feel for that. Um, and see who we can bless on that side of, of the pond and see how that works out. Talk about scheduling a little bit. Uh, we know that's kind of difficult. I talked with Coach Jones about mm -hmm. it, you know, from a standpoint, this is a startup program sure. and the only one in the Alabama community co college it's, side. It's a little easier for me playing out of the Georgia region because we've got five other region teams. So that gives me 10 games to start with. And then Taylor's connections have been incredibly beneficial. And that's a critical thing for us is to function as one program. And so I've, I've very much benefited from his connections. I've got three or four coaches who are waiting for me to respond. I've got one more region game to lock down with South Georgia State. And once that's done, I'll reach out and finish that schedule out. And, and it, scheduling really for me has been pretty easy. We've already got, uh, well, I guess, nine or ten games on the books, and the others will fall in place as soon as we pull that last region trigger. One last question. Expectations, a startup program, I, I have no way to quantify what an expectation would be. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, I'll just put it this way. I hate losing. Oh, uh, I didn't come here to lose. Um, and, you know, I, I've had several people say, well, Coach, you know, it's year one, you got you to get – we're a year and a half behind on recruiting. I'm, I've already got 19, 20, 24s on my recruiting board. I've already made one offer for juniors in high school. So I'm, now we're starting to catch up on the recruiting cycle. People have said, you know, Coach, you get what you get your first year, and, and nobody's worried about wins and losses. I'm like, wait a minute, no, I am. Our expectations are to play high-quality soccer um, and see how we stack up. I'll learn what the Georgia region looks like, um, and uh, my expectation is for these ladies to play some beautiful soccer, win some games, and uh, Arizona looks like a good place to be come November. That's called nationals. I agree. Coach Mac Matthews, the women's head coach for the Southern Union Bison Soccer Program. Coach, thank you for joining us, and uh, good luck, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see you throughout the season. Thank you. I really appreciate what you guys do for us.